guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Sorry. You! I know you see me. Oh. I await your findings, champion. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Light. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Watch out for like the rubble. Don't want another blast. <laughs> Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Eyes up here, sister! Keep at it, everyone! Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way. Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. that crane closer. My polecaster can't reach that from here. I need to get closer.
now. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Should be able to get up there now. Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. <clears throat> but it looks like he tricked me. It transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Oh, it doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? An elevator? Let's see. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? 
I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. 
To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, but to Nox? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front of barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav. One of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Vashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you, or hold you back, but I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay? Long enough for us to spend time, to get to know each other properly, perhaps. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But 
This mission... It's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well... If that place were to end up being Meridian... Know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. There, the workbench. Okay, master override installed. Was something with it, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. 
You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Well, that's good. I guess it was nice to catch up. Aloy, are you finished with your friends, or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it.
one of those to get around. <laughs> Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from...
Something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Alvin. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop. It's his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! You don't do as I say immediately. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, Savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy at Baronlight. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow.
I'll need these later, for sure. must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. I can turn it around.
Ready for anything now. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear, too. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Bristlebacks must have got these off from. I hope Aaron and the other Vanguard are okay. It's always good to have extra. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland. You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Now well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Are you a sight to score at? Anyone see where I put my workbench is free if you need Anyone. to take it with that gear. Anyone!
there it is. And the nurse goes, oh, I see it. It's out of the ball. <laughs> This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Penetration don't mean I can't do my job. It's ale and a team work. Till Oven blows that whistle, no one's working it. Yeah. Salutations, Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Shop's closed, Red. You're welcome to use the work. Best I can do. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the carger who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent what do you want, Olvent? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! 
Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more! You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osram laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. Then just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chainscrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course! You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority, then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Fill my pouch with these later. Is that a tripwire? This whole area is rigged with tripwires. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! That's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do!
frost ammo could help here. Acid. Let's 
last one. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper life. Fill up like hand. Hey, Red! Spare a moment, will ya? Would have been stranded for who knows how long with these scroungers around. Got a second there, Red? I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of mine make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep, I've uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> More like someone. Let me guess Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town. Took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. The cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. He just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. 
I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting Bristle, Max, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Save the extra stock for later. Trucks. Maybe errands and vanguards. Bristlebacks are everywhere. Foreign cauldron fights, which it sounds like someone's putting up a fight.
Bricklebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. And turn them to scrap, Aloy. on the go.
Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. these in my pack. Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? 
Uh, this, ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good, I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, wh whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> ah, that figures. Oh, Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left, and I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down.
What are those also awesome doing out here? Quick, gotta scrap them before the scroungers get them. Oh, that bristleback's charging right at them. Nora. Just get back to Chain Scrape before you get yourselves killed. But not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to it. the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Break those ass tuckers! <laughs> and it's full of bristlebacks. One here! Fucking fun back! machine. Less machine.
One less machine. Another one down. safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. Nora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olwen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olwen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Vladis too. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Hmm. <sighs> 